Today we're going to talk about transferring um, your pictures from your digital camera to Facebook. Now most modern digital cameras use a memory card called an SD card which looks like this and you'll find under a small little door like this someplace on your camera. That's the first part is getting your memory card. Then most modern laptops, this is a Windows laptop, but it's also true for Mac laptops and Chromebooks, have a slot on the side right here, and this is where the memory card goes. So once you remove the memory card from the camera, you would just sti simply stick it in the memory slot. If the PC you're using doesn't have a memory slot, it will have a USB slot and if you're familiar with USB slots that's what these things are along the side of the computer these are USB slots so um, in a moment I'm going to show you where these various things show up on different kinds of computers um, if you have a USB memory reader which is one that I, I'll post down in the comments uh, Amazon's got one for six and a half bucks this one happens to be a reader for a compact flash because that's what my professional Canon takes but you would insert the memory into the 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 card reader and then you would put the card reader directly into a USB slot if you're dealing with a full-size PC, this happens to be an iMac, and you'll find these in libraries across the country, as well as Windows machines. If you're dealing with a full-size PC, the modern ones, the um, slot for the memory card is usually right about here on the, the Windows PCs. On the iMacs, the slot is actually on the back of the monitor and it goes in um, a slot that's right here. Also while we're back here on the iMac this is where the USB connectors are whereas on the Windows PCs the new Windows PCs those will also be along the left side uh, near where the memory card will go. When you're on a new PC or uh, like a library PC or PC you're not familiar with or don't use all the time, you'll need to log into Facebook. So you just go to www.facebook.com, put in your um, login, which is usually your email address or your phone number, your mobile phone number and your password, and log in. Once you're logged in, then you will... Um, either put your um, memory card directly into the computer or you will plug in your USB uh, card reader. Um, either way the computer will react the same. A window will pop up saying that your computer has found some kind of external medium um, like an external hard drive or your memory card or whatever and it'll ask you what you want to do. This will look different depending on what kind of computer you're on. If you are on a Windows computer it'll look a little different. If you're on an Apple computer it'll look a little different. If you're on a Chromebook which are really popular in libraries these days it'll look a little different. So what you want to do is basically ignore this because we don't want to open up a file browser or anything like this. All we want to do is we don't want to be able to access this from Facebook. So, if you're in Facebook and this should look familiar, this is where you would normally type in your status update or whatever. Click the photo. I guess it says photo slash video and you'll find your device. So in this case we're using the um, card reader that looks like this little USD device and for some reason the computer thinks it's a Toshiba external drive. So we'll click that 
and we'll see something that says DCIM. This is universally where all modern digital cameras and phones store their pictures. So once we've gone to, once we've clicked down through DCIM, we'll find all of the pictures. And this is a picture I took of the supermoon with my Canon EOS. Um, but I've got other pictures on here. Some, this was an animal rescue place that I took some pictures. And so you have a choice here. You can pick the individual picture that you want to upload, or you can pick a range of pictures. So for instance, if I click here through here, it will upload all of the pictures that I took of the supermoon, oops, including the ones that weren't that good. And the way you do this is you click on one end of the range of pictures that you want to, to highlight. You hold the shift key and then you click the other end of the range of pictures that you'd like to highlight. Then you click open and it'll start posting all of those pictures to Facebook. Now there's a limit to how many pictures it'll allow you to upload to a single post and I don't remember what it is. It's something like 45 or something. So you don't, if you're doing a single post, you don't want to upload more than say 40 pictures. If you do, it'll give you a little error message and says, sorry, you've, that's too many, you can't do that. But what you can do instead, and we're going to go ahead and, and cancel this. Because I'm not really going to post those pictures to my Facebook account right now. But you can always do it as a photo album. Now, a photo album will allow you to put as many pictures as you want. So, for instance, I can put every single picture that is in that memory card and there's a whole heck of a lot of them and then I can tell it to go ahead and open and it'll create a an album in Facebook and like I said you can have as many pictures as you want in an album. So those are the basics. Um, when you're out in the wild doing this and you're stopping at libraries that may have different equipment it may look a little different, um, but it all works the same way. So I hope this was helpful and have fun posting pictures to Facebook.